What's up YouTube coming at you today. We are going to be installing a set of FMX XTR uh, handlebars, Argon GA2 fat lock-on grips, hydraulic disc brakes by Shimano. So stick around and I hope you like this episode. We're going to use the number five Allen key and we're going to remove the bolts on the stem. Then we're going to remove the grips, the brakes, and the shift lever. And then we'll reinstall the new set of handlebars. I'm just going to use a razor and cut off the grips since we're not going to be using these for anything else. I'm going to be removing the brake calipers using the number five Allen key. And what I'm going to do is remove the bolts and the washers, and I'm just going to reuse them on the new calipers. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to just pry open these plastic uh, cable stay downs. And then I'm just going to replace these with zip ties. Once you have the front and rear calipers removed, you're just going to take the new brakes and you're going to route them the same way the old ones were routed. If you have to shorten the cables, you can look that up online and it shows you how to do them. What you're going to do is you're going to loosen the caliper bolts, you're going to engage the brake, let the brake straighten out, and then tighten those bolts back down.
Same thing for the front caliper. You're going to loosen the bolts. You're going to engage the brake. Once they find that center point, you're going to tighten them down, spin the wheel, and you'll see that they are lined up properly and you don't have any rubbing. Putting the grips on are pretty straightforward. You're going to slide them on. There's a little end cap that you can insert inside of the handlebar. You'll feel it engage, and then you're just going to tighten them down. There is a little up indicator on the grip. You just want to face that up and then tighten down the bolt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sure somebody's going to have some kind of negative comment. If you do have a negative comment, please keep it to yourself. If you don't like the video, just don't like the video. Turn it, go watch somebody else. Guys, always stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.